but I had just broken up with somebody, and I saw her in a class. And I, you know, kind of sized her up for like, I don't know, weeks before we ever talked. And I once got as close to her as I am to you, coming up behind her, and I turned around and walked away. I said, you know, this is going to be nothing but trouble because I can tell she is an extraordinary person and I don't want to get involved with anybody right now. And then the famous encounter occurred in the law school library when she came up to me and she said, if you're going to keep staring at me and I'm going to keep looking back, we should at least know our name. He was standing out in the hallway and I just, I don't know, you know those moments, you know, sort of like click, you know, and <laughs> I was sitting there and I just started staring at him and I just began to look at him and I thought, you know, I really like the way he looks. I need to get to know him. And then he caught my eye and he began staring back at me. And so here I am in the library, not reading. Here he is actually surrounded by people who are talking at him, not talking back. So finally, I thought, this is ridiculous. You know, I'm in this class with this person. And so I put my books down and I went up and I said, you know, if you're going to keep looking at me and I'm going to keep looking at you, we ought to at least know each other's names. I'm Hillary Rodham. Who are you? And he says that he couldn't remember his name. That makes me feel so good when he says that. Um, but anyway, he did sort of stumble out, I'm Bill Clinton. Well, you know, then, you really want me to go on about this? I mean, this is, um, then we ended up, and it was the last day of class, this class that we hardly ever went to, but occasionally saw each other in, and we both showed up for the last day. And so I was walking out the door, and he kind of got to the door at the same time. He said, where are you going? And I said, well, I'm going to go register for my classes next year. He said, oh, oh, I need to do that. And I said, okay. So we walked together, and we stood in this endless line, you know, registrar's endless lines. And we talked and talked and talked, and I finally got up to the line. And um, the registrar, this wonderful woman who I've kept in touch with, Gloria McHugh, said, well, Hillary, what are you going to take? And I started to fill it out. And then she looked at me and said, Bill, why are you here? You registered yesterday. <laughs> I finally got her to come visit me in Arkansas. And when she did, the people at the law school were so impressed, they offered her a teaching position. And she decided to take a huge chance. She moved to a strange place, more rural, more culturally conservative than any place she'd ever been, where she knew good and well people would wonder what in the world she was like and whether they could or should accept her. <laughs> Didn't take them long to find out what she was like. She loved her teaching, and she got frustrated when one of her students said, well, what do you expect? I'm just from Arkansas. She said, don't tell me that. You're as smart as anybody. You just got to believe in yourself and work for it and set high goals. She believed that anybody could make it. She also started the first legal aid clinic in Northwest Arkansas, providing legal aid services to poor people who couldn't pay for them. One day, I was driving her to the airport to fly back to Chicago when we passed this little brick house that had a for sale sign on it. And she said, boy, that's a pretty house. It had 1,100 square feet, an attic fan and no air conditioner in hot Arkansas, and a screened-in porch. Hillary commented on what a uniquely designed and beautiful house it was. So I took a big chance. I bought the house. <laughs> My mortgage was $175 a month. <laughs> when she came back, I picked her up and I said, you remember that house you liked? She said, yeah. I said, while you were gone, I bought it. You have to marry me now. <laughs> the third time was the charm. The thought occurs to me that you really don't fit the image that we have created <clears throat> for the governor's wife in Arkansas. You're not a native. Um, you've been educated in liberal eastern universities. You're less than 40. You don't have any children. You don't use your husband's name. You practice law. Does it concern you that maybe other people feel that you don't fit the image that we have created for the governor's wife in Arkansas? No, because just as I said before, I think that... Um 
each person should be uh, assessed and judged on uh, you know that person's own merits and uh, I'm not 40 but that hopefully will be cured by age eventually I will be uh, we don't have any children yet we're hoping to have children so that I hope will be cured in a number of years also um, that doesn't bother me um, and I hope that it doesn't bother uh, very many people I think that uh, in a way it's uh, kind of a tribute to the state uh, that uh, someone who may or may not fit an image is accepted on on her own terms you know I came up came to Arkansas of my own free will you know I was not born here and I fell in love with the state and decided to stay and, and Bill and I were married uh, I think that is a kind of indication of what we're trying to do in the state that the time of feeling that Arkansas was in any way uh, second to anybody or the thank God for Mississippi image that we've I think had for too long is beginning to disappear and I want to do everything that I can uh, to help that go as fast as we can make it disappear because you know I have friends all over the country people who are constantly asking me you know what it's like living in Arkansas you know why I moved here and and all the rest of it and you know I'm someone who has lived in other places you know I I lived outside of large cities I've lived on the East Coast I've been all over the country and in some parts of Europe and I just cannot think of a better place to be living right now and you know that may sound kind of uh, trite but uh, you know I, I just think that we've got so many opportunities and that at the same time we've got a chance to meld what has always been to me at least one of the great parts of, of Arkansas heritage which is our sort of uh, individualistic tradition and the ties that uh, bind people with all of the possibilities for economic and other kinds of growth so I don't know about image I just hope that the reality is going to match what I want the image of the state to be and if I can participate and contribute to that I'll just be very happy about it we were married we were married in that little house on October the 11th 1975 I married my best friend I was still in awe after more than four years of being around her at how smart and strong and loving and caring she was. And I really hoped that her choosing me and rejecting my advice to pursue her own career was a decision she would never regret.